Hi and welcome to my channel. My name is Kim. I am a reader and a knitter and today is Vlogmas Day 17. So for, for Vlogmas, I am reading and reviewing a short story from the Kingston and Olsen short story advent calendar. I also will be unwrapping a mini skein of hand dyed yarn from Polka Dot Creek Yarns and sharing my knitting progress with you. So let's get to the unveiling and find out what I'll be reading and knitting today. So today's short story is titled Swanee by Sarah Lipman. Mm -hmm. I haven't heard of, which I'm all about. Uh, Sarah Lipman is the author of the novel Leech and short story collections Doll, Palace, and Jerks. Um, she teaches with the, co with the writing collab and lives with her family in Brooklyn. And this was written in 2014. So I look forward to reading a new to me author. As for the mini skein, this is always a little gift for me, and yellow is one of my absolutely favorite colors. And a uh, fun fact, my cat Wednesday, who you'll see in some of these videos, loves the sound of this tissue paper. So this is almost a little gift for her as well. And this is a beautiful shade of a medium red, and it's called Russet. So I am going to wind this yarn, get knitting, get reading, and I will report back to you with my thoughts. So this was an interesting story for me. It was very cheeky in a humorous way and a little cultish. So it's told in the first person and it opens up at the end of Justin's uh, birthday party. He just turned seven and Billy Monroe, another child, is stuck in a plastic fun tunnel. Now it takes place in a reptile park and it's told from the the perspective of Justin's mother, but you never learn her name. But I'll get back to that in a second. Um, and the narrator is alone with Billy and she's trying to get him out. And then the mummies arrive. And when I say the mummies, this is where it sort of becomes a bit of a, a cultish thing. Uh, there is a overwhelming amount of reptile imagery. They're at the reptile park. It's an alligator themed party. And she refers to as one woman who is very pregnant, that she looks like a snake who's just fed. Um, and it's very different in unusual ways. Now, the narrator is very jealous of another one of the moms. And she has a crush on one of the dads who has disappeared, who is no longer involved in the community. And while she's trying to get Billy Munro um, unstuck, she is flashing back on all this sort of unmummy like behavior. Now, uh, while all the mummies are trying to get Billy out, uh, you can cut that out. Um, now, one of the problems that I had with this uh, short story is that in one small paragraph, she has all of the mummies wearing masks, and some of the masks are caving in. And I really felt that this was a little bit too much of an obvious image and a little bit cliche. I won't give you the ending, um, but it was interesting, but also a little bit predictable. As well, I can't figure out why she called this Swanee. It's that title is lost on me. But overall, it wasn't a bad sh a short story. Made my morning. So as for knitting, I will insert some footage, uh, footage here. I did a little bit more of the third stripe and then started adding on the colors to the first stripe. So it's uh, really growing and getting bigger and I'm loving it. So thank you so much for joining me. Please like and subscribe and comment in the section below. How is your December going? What are you reading these days? As well, there is a link to Patreon. And if you feel like putting a tip in the tip jar, that would be great. And thank you so much for joining me. I enjoy making these videos and I appreciate your time. 
So I hope you join me for Vlogmas Day 18, and I will leave you with some of my favorite things from Life on the Lake. Bye.